Okay, so the president's speaking on a wide range of issues, but about the economy, what a picture that was. And uh, Zaka Bala joins us next. He's a public affairs analyst, also a petroleum engineer. Thank you for coming on this morning. Thank you. Well, uh, about that part where he said, look, we're in a situation here. It's a grim picture. Uh, can't pay salaries. And I think he was referring to the fact that they had to bail out some states to pay those salaries. And then about the ministries, yes, they could sit in the cabinet, but they may not have ministries to run. How do you think that will sit with the entire country? Well, first of all, uh, I can tell you this straight away. It will not be immodest to say that uh, Nigeria does not have economic power. And if you don't have economic power, you, you cannot have political power. You cannot be able to, to have that integrity to, see, to sit and talk on the international pedestal. When you are with others in the economies of nations, nobody will recognize you. The minimum wage in Nigeria is less than $100. 18,000 Naira is less than $100. And many governors couldn't pay. So when you have an economy like that, what does that portend for you? It simply tells you that you have, you have probably been generating motions, but you have not been moving. A simple thing you just need to do is x-ray the economy of Nigeria today and the macroeconomic indices. And you find out that Nigeria is not yet out of the woods. Okay, let's look at what he said. I mean, he, he talked about the fact that they have to streamline ministries. Correct. It means he's facing the current realities on ground. So, but he also had to fulfill the constitutional requirements of having 36 ministers. So, since he can reduce the ministries, as he says he will, why don't we also just go the whole hog and face the bull, take the bull by the horn and maybe, hey, or sponsor maybe an executive bill to ensure that we amend that part of the constitution that talks about that because if you're just going to keep bringing people up there, you're going to have to pay them. Correct. Shouldn't we do some of those as well? When, when you talk about ministers, you're basically talking about supportive lieutenants. No matter how visionary a leader is, if you don't have supportive lieutenants, you're not going to succeed. But the number? The number in this case is not what matters, but is the concept and the approach you're going to use. I would always advise that we use the concept and the model of people like Lady Dora Akunyili, right? Why I'm saying this is because if you can identify Nigerians of Nigerians' extraction, right, who have the intellectual and management dexterity, they will be useful to you. I'm mentioning Dora Akunyele because we need to also celebrate our heroes and heroines, whether they are alive or whether they have graduated into immortality. You see, when you have characters like that as supportive lieutenants, you will succeed, regardless of whether you assign them to a physical, tangible ministry. Because you're talking about somebody who was probably a, a pharmacologist, right? from there went to PTDF, succeeded, went to NAVDAC, went to Ministry of Information without knowing anything or studying communications. That is dexterity. If you have Nigerians like that, all you need to do is you send them across the strata yeah, of Nigeria uh, and Mara, they will succeed. Sorry, so that, time, that number 36 becomes immaterial. Mm. It's how supportive they will be to you as lieutenants that matter. That's, uh, you're saying that uh, there will be no backlash as a result of that? Is that how, right? how, how can there be backlash? Knowing that, I mean, you are living in a country where the human development index is low. You are living in a country where, as we speak today, you claim to be a continental economy, but you are running it on electricity generation that is less than 5,000 megawatts. These lieutenants will have enough work to do. They will be stretched because you have sectors. That was why we have been talking about the right people with the technical argument. But you and know, you have some of them who will say, Parliament of Boston, who will say, look, I'd rather be stretched running a ministry than be stretched just sitting in the cabinet and formulating you, policies. You cannot. There is no way. There are, Nigeria has hydra headed issues to get you fully occupied. And let's run them probably sector by sector now. Quickly, let's just take the oil and gas industry, right? Me and you know that in the last dispensation, 
you know, there was a, a destruction of corporate stability due to the high turnover of chief executives within NNPC. That on its own was corporate instability. We were not responding to the cash call agreements we had with the JV companies. And they were running away, and we thought it was divestment. They were running away from business climate hostilities. Right? Look at our gas master plan. From only the gas master plan, you will have enough gas for what? The Jenkos to generate. Right? The discos will distribute. From the same gas, you can boost agriculture. Because the basic ingredient of fertilizer is what? Sun and what? And gas from that alone. Come to transportation. So how can ministers be, 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 be idle? Come to transportation. If you come up with functional rail lines and wagons, the first thing you are going to do is you are going to save our roads from tankers, right? Look at the close to 18 depots across the country. Look at the pipelines that are there. Then start hauling your crude oil and heavy goods using rail lines and tankers. Wouldn't that be enough just for people to be occupied with? Come and see, come and look at your Ministry of Planning, right? You can have the Minister for State. What about, I mean, you can have the substantive minister and the Minister for State. All you need, let that person have what it takes to nyranize the Nigerian economy. And you will be freed from exchange rate differentials. Let me see they if I will be that. busy.